If you're not watching My Home Hero, what are you doing? This literally is going to be one of the best shows of the season. Some people like to bring up that it's not the best production around. Well, sure, it's not the Sakuga Fest and the art style isn't the most crisp thing I'm going to watch this season. But seriously, people are acting sometimes like it's that CGI monster I've seen people talk about from this one show airing this season. I forget what it is, but this is the image I'm talking about. But man, episode 2 literally pulled a Breaking Bad in terms of how to dispose a body 101. At first, I was a little worried because anyone who's seen Breaking Bad in terms of how Walter and Jesse typically dispose of bodies the first time they do it in a bathtub, well, Jesse that is, it literally falls through the floor because the chemicals that burn through the body will burn through the porcelain or the tub and everything like that. But the idea of essentially because you kill a member of the Yakuza who's abusing your girl, and how do you get rid of the body? How do you move the body? Well, they basically make a giant heater in the bathtub and they shrink the body down so he can fit it in a briefcase and wheel it home. That is one of the most disturbing ideas I think a normal businessman could come up with. And I know a lot of people are like, man, that mom is sus as hell because she didn't even flinch at the dad killing someone. I'm not saying it's impossible that it's potential she might have killed people in the past, but I really think by the end of this episode, it just really comes down to parents who would do whatever it takes to protect their kids. I literally had people in the comment section being like, as a dad myself, yeah, I would absolutely kill someone for my daughter if they were abusing her. And it's like, I completely get it. I mean, who would let a piece of garbage like that continue, especially given that he literally has killed and hurt people in relationships before and he was literally on the phone admitting that he was going to do so again. I think the idea of seeing the mother when she asked the dad about like have you killed before and he's like well of course not right you know it's a defensive reaction because you know most people don't do that but you see her shaking you can see her visibly frightened but on her face she feels composed as if you know what this is just normal we're just disposing of a murderous boyfriend it's completely fine. The dad, at face value, I mean, if there's anything that was disturbing or a little too normal, when he was boiling the body in the bathtub, it looked like the grossest chunky soup I've ever seen, and he was sitting there, no mask, he had no filters, he wasn't even using air freshener, and he wasn't vomiting. That was way more weird to me than the mom not flinching initially, but both of them had their moments of like, man, are they psychos? But I don't think so. I think it really boils down to that they're in this, this fight for their lives. Someone was hurting their daughter, and they're like, scumbag got what he deserved. Now we have to try to figure out how to get the Yakuza off our tail. Unfortunately for them, seemingly they did so up until dad gets tased and mom is basically getting choked to death. I imagine both of which aren't actually going to die in these moments, but more so they're going to interrogate because they know something's up, but they have no proof to say so. It's a, it's a show, man, and I am loving it. Full live reaction is available on my Patreon if you're interested in seeing my full uncut thoughts. There's points, I'm not going to lie, where I'm so invested in this show, I like zone out and I'm just like focused in, but it is such a thought-provoking show, it's so fun to discuss. And while yes, I don't think this is the most beautiful anime of the season, I also just don't find it ugly like so many people are saying. To me, it really does feel like an earlier 2000s anime that honestly got an HD re-release on Blu-ray. That's the best way to sum it up. I think given that it's a lot different of a narrative and the fact that the characters we're following are... 40s 50s give or take i'm not sure exactly their age but they're older adults and yes we have like the 18 year old female who kind of just thinks they're gardening with their parents but i like the fact that everything about this show from aesthetic to setting to premise and characters i just i don't find myself comparing it to anime i had a lot of people mention i think there were some indian films some k dramas and stuff people are saying oh this kind of reminds me of so and so and i might check them out just because i love the idea of my home hero so more shows and a similar coat of paint i'm down to watch but ultimately it doesn't feel like your traditional anime and maybe if it did have a more popping art style and more stocking moments Maybe this one would be more up many people's alleys. But all I say is, as long as I don't find the show ugly to look at, I don't care how much something moves. I mean, anime for the longest time barely moved to begin with. And this is a show all about the what's going on in characters' minds. I mean, I don't need them throwing fists or throwing, you know, these crazy animations around. No, I can just look at these characters and see the fear or the just how normal they appear at face value. If someone deserves an acting award, it's the dad. So one of the members ends up going into the apartment and he's dressed as a maid. He ends up smashing the phone. I thought he didn't even check the phone. He seemed a little nervous, like, yeah, sure, go ahead and call the phone if you're looking for it. And ultimately, because he smashed it, the GPS was acting like he was out of range. So you know what? He has these moments that you're like, man, he's a little too comfortable. 
but I love just looking at a character who was the most normal businessman seemingly his entire goddamn life and now is, you know, just doing everything as if he's a mastermind like in Breaking Bad. But I love the fact that his reasoning for being so good at disposing of a body is that mystery novels have been around for a hundred years. Like, I've read enough to have an idea, and I really like that moment because how many people can honestly say with a straight face, if they somehow got into a situation where they killed someone, they wouldn't at the very least bring up Breaking Bad and say, huh, that might actually be my way out. Most people, literally when Breaking Bad was airing, most people were like, honestly, that probably would be the way to go if you had to do it. So the fact that it just feels like on paper, it's not normal, but the fact that you're doing it for your daughter, who is literally getting hurt, abused, and would have been killed by this man, it doesn't matter if it's the odds, it doesn't matter if it's the Pope, they're gonna do whatever it takes to get back to a normal family dynamic, and unfortunately normal means having to dispose of a body and a planter and grow your new vegetables. As long as they don't eat the cucumbers and tomatoes that grow from this man's limbs, it'll be okay, but if they do so, I mean... Yeah, maybe they are a little psychotic. Not everything is going to be for everyone, I completely understand that, but for me personally, this is literally one of the most engaging shows of the season. We're only, we're, we just started the season, many shows only have aired one episode, some are starting to get into their seconds of course, but it's just so good. I still think personally for me in terms of brand new anime, Heavenly Delusion will be my pick, but this one is honestly one of the best I'm following, and I mean, I get it, some people think the show looks way more ugly than I do, and if that's a deal breaker, fine, completely understand. At that point, I just say at least go read the manga because clearly the show slaps and the story is engaging. But I really like how normal a lot of it feels, like it's almost like not trying to be explosive visually, or the VA for the dad, like I mentioned in my first impression, like just he doesn't feel like your traditional character that you would root for in a show like this, that's what helps keep him normal. He's clever in the way that he sets little booby traps to figure things out, like the briefcase he put into his trunk to see if they would follow him. He had a little piece sticking out, so if they went into his trunk when he was gathering gardening supplies, he would know. The idea that the mom notices like something's moved as she's vacuuming, it's not like because they were like looking over the place head to toe, but more so like she was vacuuming and she noticed something looked damaged and lo and behold they have listening devices. Rather than just destroying the listening devices, they made up a pretty clever script to get out of the situation, almost like revealing you know something's up but making yourself seem honestly pretty innocent. Didn't go quite according to plan, but hey, you know what, all things considered for a couple of seemingly normal businessman housewife, they did probably as good as you could unless you're Walter White in Breaking Bad, then you do a little better until obviously the end of that show, but seriously, this show's awesome. I love it personally, maybe people disagree, feel free to, but for me, I ain't gonna stop loving this one until the show actually gets bad for me, and right now, I absolutely love it. Thoughts and feelings though yourself down below, drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new around here, ring the bell so you can get notified when I upload, and like I mentioned, full live reaction is available on my Patreon, and while you're there, you can also get a video shout out. So today, we have Emil Edberg, Frozen Zero, and Diedrich Savant, so I appreciate the support everyone. Please take care and have a good one.